the rock goes off script after raw will set to betray cody i've been feeling that way a little bit in my um in my reactions on patreon but we're gonna watch so yeah hey guys I'll, what is I'll going on this thought. is wrestlemania back with another episode join us now as wrestlemania looks at the 29th march edition of the blue brand as well as the wildest wrestling news stories you need to know including the latest on drew mcintyre's wwe contract status is seth rollins turning on cody the rocks post raw attack on cody and more as always we won't recap the matches but look at the good the bad and the downright ugly the good a storm is coming Major kudos to WWE for crafting an electric entrance for Jade Cargill. The WWE continues to level up on its production values following Kevin Dunn's exit, and to be fair, the WWE's production values were already superb. Of course, there's more to a wrestler than their entrance, and Cargill's debut was handled with artistic precision. Cargill cut a strong promo, then was booked as a real badass as she ran in to save Naomi and Bianca Belair, <laughs> taking out damage control by herself. Crazy. You couldn't ask for a better debut, and hopefully WWE will use this as a launching pad for bigger things. Logan Paul Perfection Logan Paul continues to show how quickly he's adapted to professional wrestling, not only working top-tier matches, but knowing Dude how to play the cowardly the heel perfectly, like as rat. seen by him costing Kevin Owens and Randy Orton their match against Pretty Deadly, then running for his life when Randy Orton went after him. Epic showdown with LWO and Legato Del Fantasma. It didn't take long for WWE <laughs> to find a way to amp up the feud between Rey Mysterio and former friend Santos Escobar. Throwing Dominic Mysterio into the mix last week was something that, on one hand, <laughs> he looked like a little mole right rat. Field, yet made perfect <laughs> sense given Dominic's disdain for his dad. Likewise, bringing in Dragon Lee as the new member of the LWO made sense, as Ray has hinted at adding Lee to the group for months. It's also mm -hmm. worth pointing out how cinematic the WWE shot the in-ring confrontation between the LWO and Legato, presenting it like a Wild West showdown. It's refreshing to see WWE stepping out of its comfort zone with its camera shots. Is Carlito turning on the LWO? It's often been said that the devil is in the details, and WWE Universe knows that the smallest clues can sometimes lead to the biggest things. In this case, Carlito looked a bit surprised, perhaps even taken he aback, so when Ray announced salty. Dragon Lee as his partner for his WrestleMania Aww. match against Dom Dom and Santos Escobar. WrestleMania may be reading too much into this, but given Carlito's past run as a heel, don't be surprised if Carlito switches sides. Solid tag team qualify. I don't, I don't know. I don't see that. But he looked salty as hell. I was like, oh, like his face. I was like, oh, poor Carlito fires. <laughs> WrestleMania wasn't thrilled when SmackDown general manager Nick Aldis decided to determine the blue brand's entrance in the six-pack challenge match with a tournament rather than straight-up sudden elimination matches. However, the idea has been much better than expected as it's given the blue brand's tag teams ample time to strut their stuff. Hopefully, this will lead to WWE commissioning a new tag team title for SmackDown. Tiffany Stratton Vignette Wrestling shows are all about balance, and WWE made the right choice to keep Tiffany Stratton from wrestling tonight, and possibly taking away from Jade Cargill's debut. At the same time, airing a vignette with Tiff gave her fans, and potential new fans, just the right touch of Tiffany. L.A. Knight vs. AJ Styles continues to Bruh. sizzle. The seemingly throwaway feud of L.A. Knight vs. AJ <laughs> Styles continues to heat up every week, a testament to the work of both superstars. On paper, the feud has been a by-the-book affair with classic angles such as home invasions, or in AJ's case, a front lawn invasion, and wrestlers disguising themselves to get close Bro, to their target. However, so Knight and the Phenomena One have embraced the storyline, putting palpable passion into their respective roles and turning this into a must-see match at WrestleMania. By the way, is it us, or does AJ Styles look like he's getting bigger every week? I thought I was bad. tripping. Street I was Profits thinking that. AOP continues to disappoint. The Street Profits vs. AOP program continues to disappoint, as somehow, the WWE seems stuck in presenting the feud as an eternal loop of Acom and Razor beating down Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins every week. Everyone involved, particularly Bobby Lashley and Karrion Cross, deserves better, and the WWE's lack of effort is obvious. This feud has the potential to tear things up, and has yet to reach the level of mediocrity, let alone average. Solo Sokoa is no threat. What happens when your big bad turns into a jobber to the stars? That's mm. exactly what's happened to Solo Sokoa, who once upon a time was a fearsome foe. Indeed, the idea of a wrestler having to battle Solo before a big match such as one at WrestleMania would have fans wondering whether Solo's opponent would even make it to Mania. Sadly, Solo has been defanged and declawed, with a win-loss yeah. record better suited for Akira Tozawa. 
Booking Jey Uso vs. Solo is being presented as a dangerous situation for main event Jey, but fans know it's more like the proverbial walk in the park. The <laughs> downright ugly. Nothing ugly. As fans and other observers have pointed out on social media, tonight's show gave SmackDown's undercard talent time for their stories to play out and build up their matches at WrestleMania. Update on Drew's WWE status Topping today's news is the question of whether Drew McIntyre is leaving WWE. Speculation continues as rumors persist McIntyre's current WWE deal is expiring soon, despite him receiving one of the biggest pushes of his career. It's believed Drew's deal ends sometime after WrestleMania, so why is he getting such a push and constantly talking about programs down the road such as facing CM Punk when Punk recovers from his latest injury? According to Dave Meltzer, there's a method to McIntyre's madness. I was checking with people, and it's like, look, you know, the belief is that he knows what the situation is, and you know, he's already promoting feuds for the summer and the fall. I don't think he's planning on going anywhere. Diamond Dave added, And the thing with him, with the contract, I mean, the thing that he was looking for months ago, when you know, it was the contract was running out, and he wasn't in a rush to sign, was number one, he thought that he wanted to do this new character. And if the new character didn't work out in the booking, and the booking wasn't strong and everything like that, the idea was maybe, maybe go back and spend some time with the family and take time off. McIntyre isn't the only main event superstar with a contract expiring soon. Both Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch haven't signed new deals yet. It's believed their contracts will be up within months. It ain't over till it's over. If you thought The Rock's beatdown on Raw was bad, wait until you hear about this. A shocking video shows The Rock breaking down the fourth wall after Raw went off the air. Fans have seen many interesting segments showing what happens after the cameras stop rolling. Unfortunately for Cody Rhodes, The Rock gave a unique after-the-show experience he's unlikely to forget, as the Great One continued beating down Cody outside the arena after Raw went off the air. Clear, no, you guys. stay down! Fuck that! Fuck that! Just because the show's over, that doesn't mean that the shit stops! Fuck that! Uh, oh no! Yeah. The short video clip is worth checking out, as The Rock continues his beatdown on the American Nightmare, telling him that just because Raw is over doesn't mean he's done with him. This was a clever move on the WWE, as it showed The Rock's ruthlessness and strength, <laughs> suggesting this is as real an angle as it gets. Seth turn coming at WrestleMania? Will Seth Rollins turn on Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania? Some fans think so based on a look Rollins gave Cody recently on Raw, and now a new tweet from Roman Reigns has some fans speculating the Tribal Chief is playing mind games to get under Seth's skin. Seth recently tweeted a gif of his WrestleMania 31 win over Roman Reigns after successfully cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase during the Brock Lesnar vs. Roman Reigns bout. Roman Reigns' greatest hashtag WrestleMania moment. However, Roman's response is what had fans talking. This is also the moment you became a permanent number two. Turn losses into lessons, kids. Some fans feel Seth will turn on Cody, believing Rollins still resents Rhodes for beating him three times in a row on PLEs and or out of resentment over not getting a rematch with Reigns, despite beating him at the Royal Rumble, albeit by disqualification. Other fans feel a Seth betrayal makes no sense, and that the WWE is merely planting seeds of doubt in fans' minds to keep them guessing. What do you think? What Judgment Day member did Becky oh, Lynch date? Saying. Does Becky Lynch have They're a secret weapon tricks. as she prepares for her match against They're the Judgment Day's Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania? Like, Becky bro, recently like, revealed on, that she dated like, the Judgment. Like, uh, come on, I said this. Like, it, it, if they're making it too obvious, like too obvious. They brought up the other day how, um, well, he just said it too in this video how they how uh, Seth and Roman have have the have a past, you know with the shield or whatever and how Seth turned on Roman by striking him in the back with a chair or whatever. And there were other, um, mention, mention, mentionings, bitch, I cannot talk today. There were other mentionings of, um, a possibility of Seth turning on Cody, but I'm like, that's just too, they're making that too obvious. It's kind of basically like giving away the story, you know? So I'm like, maybe they're just doing that to like throw us off. Now, I love a good prediction. And I have so far, I've probably come up with like three predictions for how this might go down at WrestleMania. And, um, If Seth was to turn on Cody, right? I think that he would turn on Cody, but it probably wouldn't affect his 
chance of winning. You know what I mean? I think that um, if that was to happen, it, it probably wouldn't do anything. It'll be devastating, you know, but it probably wouldn't be successful in ruining Cody's moment. So, but it'll be shitty. I don't know. But right now, I just feel like they've, they've been making it like way too obvious, like dropping like little, little like seeds and hints and all the foreshadowing and all that. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. But they're definitely trying to throw us off. And they've definitely been like tweaking things as it goes along because we're all like picking up on it. So I definitely feel like as we go along, they've been kind of like, you know, tweaking some stuff, but yeah. Judgment Day's Finn Balor discussing their relationship in her memoir, off. The Man. During an appearance on The Bump, Becky said Rhea Ripley needs to know this and even hinted at where some of the group's real loyalties may lie, pointing out she's also known JD McDonough since he began wrestling training at age 12. Gunter joining Elite Club at WrestleMania 40. Last but not least, add Gunter to the Elite Club of Intercontinental Champions who have performed at WrestleMania. Wrestling Stats recently tweeted, Randy Savage 86 to 87, Ultimate Warrior 89 to 90, The Rock 97 to 98, Gunter 23 to 24, with Savage and Gunter's reigns being part of the same uninterrupted reign for both defenses. Sami Zayn is set to challenge Gunter for the title, and fans are eager to see whether Sami can do the seemingly impossible dethrone Daring General. Well, guys, there you have it. WrestleMania's look at the 29th mark. I don't know how I feel about that match. I don't know how I feel about that. The Sammy and Gunther match, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, yeah, well, we gonna see. But that's gonna do it for this reaction, y'all. Make sure y'all leave some likes and comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see y'all in the next one. Toodles.